It's improved operations in a few ways. Uh, first of all, uh, we've been able to transition a lot of our networks from uh, circuits that are uh, maybe one and a half megabytes, 45 megabytes, uh, TDM based, to Ethernet at 100 megabytes per second, one gigabyte per second, and 10 gigabytes per second. And we've been able to do that without actually increasing the cost. So it doesn't save you money, but it's a tremendous cost avoidance because now you have all this additional bandwidth without having to spend more money. The other thing that people have been able to get is increased reliability. If I can get more bandwidth for the same price, I can also get diversity of vendor, diversity of the physical connection. I can increase the survivability. I can go away from point-to-point -point circuits. Well, that's the other thing. I can go from point-to-point -point circuits to uh, have two ways out to get to a very large, robust backbone. And what that buys you is um, increased survivability and elimination of single points of failure. And the, the third thing that you get by going to, that we've been able to realize by going to N-Wave is increased cybersecurity. Because N-Wave is connected to uh, our uh, trusted internet connection access points. So um, it's, it's the way that um, we efficiently get cyber protection for all of NOAA's internet traffic. It's the way that we get um, uh, survivability of our trusted internet connection access points. So if we have a failure, not only can we fail over at the same location, so one of our locations is in the Washington metropolitan area, we have, as you'd expect, redundancy. If one stack of hardware fails, uh, we can fail over in the Washington, D.C. area. But thanks to the N-Wave network, we can also fail over to one of the other four TICAP sites. So it improves the survivability of our, of our security and it improves our network security overall because um, unlike a uh, simply buying a uh, perhaps a commercial network operation, uh, we have done a rigorous assessment and have a FISMA accreditation for our network operation centers, both the ones that the Weather Service operates for NWSNet and the uh, network operation centers that are operated uh, to support NWAVE. So that improves our confidence in network operations security. I'm not suggesting that a, uh, uh, a network provider doesn't have good security. I'm sure they do. What we have is the confidence of the level of security because we have visibility into it, having actually performed an accreditation, an assessment and, and authorization on the infrastructure of people uh, the procedures uh, that underlie our network operations center. So, um, cost avoidance, resiliency, cybersecurity, uh, what's not to like?